how long had you been working for him? Since March 10th of 2016 at that point. So for four months. And this was the first accident that you've had? Yes. So you know you owe him $1,000 for that? Well, my understanding was that the deductible was $500. The $1,000 came out not until he was telling me that I owed him that money. What made you think it was a $500 deductible? Because when I was hired on and had gone into his original business, Mr. Tux, to sign the paperwork, he was talking about the deductible being 500 and no, I said, no. oh, well, really? Because most commercial businesses, their deductible is 1000 I said that, but he's like, no, it's it's 500 You should have had him put it in. You're right. I should have you should put have it had in it writing. Put it in writing. So that you owe him. Now, when do you claim the second accident was, sir? October 15th, 2016. And tell me about that. Well, prior to that, uh, she had been driving all summer, and she had two runs that day. A navigator, which is not a limo, uh, that's vehicle number three, uh, the large Escalade, which is a 14-passenger vehicle, was the second vehicle. She was having frustrations that day because she had lost Don't the... tell me what she oh. lost. Just okay. tell me about the accident. Tell me about the damage. Okay, so each driver, as we've done that for years, and that will be my witness, that they have to inspect the vehicles before they go out, or they're responsible for any That's damage. That's not correct. Shh. Oh, that and would so, be smart. It would be smart if you looked at it. Go well, ahead. That's right. And, and so the next run on the Escalade was, was Brad here, and he was doing his inspection, and that's when he found the side scrapes on the Escalade. Okay. And did he report that before his run? Oh, yes. At, to whom? Me. When was that run? Shh, shh. Told him. Uh, the 18th. Three days later. But the vehicle didn't go out. Yeah. Oh. How do that's we know? All right. That's okay. So it wasn't the same day. It was three days later. Correct. Just a second. And three days later, your cars are stored in your garage? Correct. How many cars are stored in the garage? Mm, nine. And how many of the other cars went in and out in the th None. that three-day interval? None. I have a, a run sheet to show that there was no So runs. there was no business no. conducted whatsoever between the time she brought the car back. Car Nobody cleaners. was in that unit. I'd like to see that. Business was that bad, I might close up my shop. Your Honor, car cleaners go in and out of out of the shop. There's half a dozen people that have keys to get in there. If, if the he's going to have them clean it, and there's the car that in the back, you have to pull two or three cars out. Good. I'm glad you brought it out. I will ask him that question. Thank you. As soon as he I, finds I think you already shop. have it, ma'am. The defendant tells me that those cars are routinely cleaned and that... There are other people who have access to that garage for the purposes of cleaning the cars inside and out. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Now I'm going to come back to you. On the day that the first accident, when you hit the side of the garage door, mm -hmm. that was late at night. I assume Mr. Mosby was not working. He was not working at that point. Just a second. Was anybody else working? No. I was the only one at the warehouse. When, if ever, did you report what had happened to Mr. Mosby? I reported it the next morning because it was late that night and he does not like us to <laughs> come. <laughs> Okay. You reported it the next morning? I did. In what method did you use to report it? I called him, but he did not answer, so I sent him a text. And you said to him, I had an accident with the car. I said, I had an incident with the car, please call me. And you told him what happened? What he said to me when he called me was, yes, I know my grandson has already taken it to the body shop. That's but not you, true. That's what you told me. Doesn't matter. She self-reported mm -hmm. because she was responsible, right? Mm -hmm. Did she call and self-report with regard to either of the other two incidents where there were scrapes on the car? No. So one car was driven three days later and was in a warehouse during those three days where other people had access to the cars and had access to the warehouse for the purposes of cleaning either inside or outside of the cars. Now let's get to the third incident. Okay, that was the little navigator, which was the first run of that day. And another driver that the two of them together with Brad had discovered. Don't, you can't tell me whether another driver discovered, sir. That's hearsay. Well, and then they reported it to me. That's still hearsay. Well, then I saw it. I mean, that's when I went to view it. Good. Yeah. You can't tell me what you saw. 